What do you get when you mix heroes, bats and banter? One awe-inspiring episode of Juiced TV. Chloe introduces us to her very own hospital hero. Noah is knocked for six when he meets his cricket idol. And the world's jolliest man is kicking back with Ryland for some cheeky banter. This episode of Juice TV is proudly supported by founding partner, the Children's Hospital Foundation. Hey guys, I'm Lily and I'm your host for Juice TV. Today we're talking about superheroes. My superhero is Emma Watson because I love all the stuff that she does outside of her work with the girl power movement. And like the cheesy saying goes, not all superheroes wear capes, and it's true. Juice TV and Q Super have been working together to shine a light on all the superheroes in this hospital. It can be anyone from volunteers or cafe staff or nurses or anyone that makes the hospital experience even more enjoyable. Today we're shining a light on the round five winner of Juice TV's Superhero Awards. Juice TV Superhero Awards are proudly supported by Q Super. Superheroes can be found around every corner of the hospital waiting to help a patient in need just like oncologist Dr. Leanne. She's the round five winner of Juice TV Superhero Awards and was nominated by six-year-old Chloe. They've known each other since Chloe was two years old and she nominated Dr. Leanne because she trusts her, helps her and thinks she's just the best. Let's get to know a little bit more about them. What does an oncologist do? Okay, well what an oncologist does is looks after people who have cancer and sometimes other sorts of blood diseases. So in my job I see children who might have leukaemia or some sort of cancer and I work out what type it is and then work out what the best way to fix it is, give them all the treatment and then see them when it's all gone away to make sure they stay well. What is the best part of your job? The best part of my job is I get to meet lots of different people and I often meet them when they're sick and I can help make them get better. And then the next best part of my job is when they come back and see me after all their treatment's finished and tell me all the exciting things they're doing in their life like going up two levels in reading like you just told me you've done. Spending time at the hospital isn't the only thing that's bonded these two together. They also share a love for dogs. Aww. What is your favourite type of dog? Well, my favourite type of dog would have to be the miniature schnauzer, because that's what Poppy is. But I actually like most dogs. I've hardly ever met a dog I didn't like. And what's your favourite type of dog? I go um, a toy poodle and a uh, hamster. And that would be what your dogs are. What is your best dog bark? My best dog bark. This is Poppy's bark. If it's me coming home, <laughs> because she's so excited to see me, she jumps up and down. So, what does your doggy do when you come home? Like when he's resting and someone comes and knocks, he goes <laughs> It's actually quite hard to hear at heart. It's not as easy as it sounds. You can hear it now. You can hear it now. Is there anything you would like to say to kids in hospital? Okay, well I think it's really hard when you first come into hospital and you're not well because some things are harder to do, but my biggest piece of advice would be there are lots of people in hospitals to help you. And you can learn all sorts of things when you're in hospital. 
So my advice would be make friends with as many people as you can. So Chloe, you've been in hospital on and off for quite a long time and you've mm. grown up. What advice would yeah. you give to kids coming into hospital? All the nurses would be really nice because I've mostly seen lots of them and they've been really nice and I know what they're like. And nurses are great at teaching you how to do things, aren't they? Yeah. Chloe, this has been fun. Thank you so much for interviewing me and nominating me. But I think we're just about ready to go. So let's say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Congratulations, Dr. Leon. I've been coming into hospital for about six months now because I have Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is pretty much an inflammation of my bowel. So I know how much it means to have awesome superheroes looking after me while in hospital. I had an amazing group of nurses and doctors looking after me who were really supportive. My advice for anybody coming into hospital for the first time would be to look on the bright side and stay positive. And now that we're on the topic of me, let's learn even more about me. Reading a good book is like dreaming with your eyes open and 15 year old Lily could happily dream all day long. My favourite hobby is reading. Right now I'm reading Wilder Girls. Next up on my list is Illustrated Harry Potters, but I love all sorts of books. My favourite animal is a giraffe because my mum got me onto them when I was quite young. <laughs> my most embarrassing moment was when I slipped on a banana peel and pretty much everyone saw. My most proudest moment only happened about three months ago, but it was when I got my first job at a bookstore. My favourite thing about working there is getting to meet all the great customers that come through. If I could have anyone come to my birthday, it'd be Billie Eilish because she's really cool and quite different to everybody else. Duh. I don't really have one favourite movie, but I love watching Christmas movies. Now that you know all about me and my superhero, it's time to meet Noah's. Hey guys, I'm Noah. I'm coming at you from the Gabba. I'm so excited because I am Brisbane Heat's biggest fan. And tonight, I'm your sideline reporter at the Big Bash. But before we get to that, let's get to know about my cricket skills. I've been playing cricket for four years. I'm a batsman and a wicket keeper. I'm a right arm leg spin, but I can bowl a bit of everything. I play for Ipswich Centrals and for school. And my biggest achievement was taking five catches in one game. My favorite cricketing moment was when Chris Lynn hit Sean Tate on the roof for a massive six. love him because he's such a great player. He hits the ball so cleanly. He's such a great captain and a great role model. Can we go back to in fact I reckon Linny would be one of my all-time favourites? Yep. Ready? Three, two, one. In fact, Linny would be one of my all-time favourites. Lynn Sanity. My cricketing idol, Chris Lynn, there you go. has lit up grounds across the country and the world. <laughs> the most destructive batsman in Big Bash history. And now I get to face him in this epic interview. So when you smacked Sean Tate on the roof, how did it feel? It was a pretty good feeling. Um, so Dan Christian did it the year before against us, so I thought it was only fair that we get one back. And to do it off the wild thing, Sean Tate was pretty cool because he bowls 150 kilometres an hour. So it's a good feeling. <laughs> What's your secret to smashing sixes? Uh, I like to keep it very simple. Um, so I stay very still at the crease, and then I basically I don't want to ever swing 50%. So I always swing 100% because I know if I hit off the edge of the bat, it'll still go over the guys in the ring. And then if I hit it out of the middle, I know it's definitely going for six. Oh. 
out of the Big Bash, who is your favourite player? Out of the Big Bash, my favourite player at the moment is Marcus Stoinis. Um, you know, he's an all-rounder, he's taken plenty of wickets so far and he hits the ball a long way and I love guys that hit the ball miles. <laughs> Who's your favourite player? Add for you. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say just because I'm here. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Um, is there any tips or advice that you'd like to say to anyone who maybe just started cricket or have been playing and not maybe progressing? Yeah, I think cricket's a game that you're probably going to have more bad days than good. So what you've got to do is realise that even though you have a bad day, it's OK, you still get an opportunity to bat or bowl like a week later. So keep hanging in there. Make sure you do the extra work. But um, as I said, you're going to have probably more, your reality is you're going to have more bad days than good. So make sure you enjoy your teammates' success um, and make sure they enjoy your success when it is your turn to have a good day. So make sure you hang in there and uh, make sure you're always doing it with a smile on your face. Obviously, you've had a few injury setbacks. How do you stay positive throughout them wanting to play? I think, um, you know, I'm very grateful to play cricket um, and it's been a job for me. And, um, you know, even though I, you know, I do get sore shoulder now and again and, and hurt myself, um, you know, you guys in the hospital really inspire me to get out and, and try and play with a bit of fun. And um, you guys definitely motivate me because it's the best feeling in the world when you walk out to the Gabba knowing I put a smile on 30,000 people here and however many kids are in hospital. It's a pretty good feeling. And I know when you guys watch, we get a big kick out of it. Chris, thanks so much for chatting with me tonight. Um, good luck for the game tonight and hope you guys win. Thank you, Noah. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks, bud. <laughs>honestly no idea Chris is coming here to meet me it was so amazing I felt I was almost gonna cry like it was so cool meeting him when he came up I was just oh my god I can't words can't even explain like I don't know honestly I was just like I was confused I was thinking maybe this was pre-planned I don't know it just felt amazing that's all I can say and he even got the whole team to sign a jersey just for me. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm Noah. That was my cricket hero, Chris Lynn, and now I've got a big bash game to watch. Turn up the heat! Down the wicket. Chip and gone. Chris Lynn. He punches it down the ground. Is this the wicket? No! So Adam Gilchrist is over there, as well as Mitchell Marsh, and Ian Healy's all the way over there. Three amazing cricketers in the same stadium, as well as my favourite, Chris Lynn. And look over there, there's Pip Russell, the creator of Juice TV. A champion! Standing right behind me is one of Australia's best wicket keepers, Ian Healy. I actually did a school project on him. What was the, you think the best wicket you took? Oh, big question. Um, I reckon I, I did a stumping against England when, and it had to be very quick. It was a difficult stumping down the leg side to a left hander. Michael Bevan spun the ball and I was like I was there, I was low and sharp and fast and got him out and we always love when we get an Englishman out. Well, this is the Heat jersey that I got signed by everyone in the Heat team. So yeah, very excited about that.
get the job done finally at home. Chris Lynn finishes 56, not out. We want you to be a part of Juice TV. We're always on the lookout for hosts, interviewers, behind the scenes helpers and mini producers. You can be any age, you don't have to have any experience. How much easier could it be? To find out the next time we're filming at the hospital, just head to our website, juicedtv.com.au or our Facebook page. For loads of fun to break up your stay in hospital, join the Juice crew. Send us an email at hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to any of the volunteers wearing green shirts throughout the hospital and let them know you want to be involved in the one and only Juice TV. Every day, kids just like you and me are cared for in hospital by some amazing superheroes. And now, GTV are inviting our patients and family to recognise your favourite hospital superhero at the Queensland Children's Hospital. Visit gtv.com.au, fill out a superhero nomination form with an adult's help, telling us in 150 words or less why they're your superhero. Round six is open now. So what are you waiting for? Get your superhero nomination in now. Juice TV Superhero Awards, proudly supported by Q Super. Q Super is different in a positive way. As Queensland's largest superannuation fund and one of the largest in Australia, they take real action to support the well-being of patients and workers in Queensland's healthcare sector. Q Super are passionate about recognising the superheroes in our community and support the work they do in providing emergency and primary healthcare services for our members and all Queenslanders. You heard it guys, round six is open now, so get your nominations in today. Our final story is with the superhero whose uniform is red, white and black. We see him a lot around December and he came to the hospital to visit. Hi, I'm Ryland and I'm on Juice TV and I'm watching Juice TV. Dun, dun, dun! Juice TV section! Today I'm getting the inside scoop on one of the biggest heroes around the world. Wait, do we mean like actual biggest or...? That's right, Santa Claus. Santa's usually busy in the North Pole, but thanks to our friends at Compare the Market, he's here today to take photos and give me the celebrity interview of a lifetime. It's time for Santa Banta. Oh. Okay, Santa, I know you're a very busy man, so let's get straight into it. What's your favorite nickname? Well, a lot of people call me Santa, but there's other names. Mrs. Claus calls me Santa. All the elves call me Santa. Well, I think it's Santa. Okay. <laughs> what are your favorite Christmas movies? Well, have you seen that one called The Santa Claus? No. You haven't? No. Well, you should watch it. Yes, it's very good. Yes, uh, well, who's his name? Tim Allen. Yes, you have a look at that one. And The Grinch, that's a good one. My favorite's gotta be The Christmas Chronicles. Now, that's a good one too. What is the best part of your job? Well, the best part is seeing all the boys and girls and, and handing them the presents and seeing the looks on their faces when they wake up and see the presents under the Christmas tree. What's been your most embarrassing moment, like burning your bum on the fireplace and crashing into the tree and waking up the kids? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I haven't had anything like that. But I did have one unfortunate mishap. Yes, yes. I was getting off the sleigh and I slipped. And I wet my trousers. <laughs> Very embarrassing. Especially when you had to keep going over Christmas Eve. <laughs> Do you have any Christmas dance moves, Santa? Christmas dance moves? Well, uh, I'm not too sure, but I do have something. Well, how about you show me one? 
Okay, I want to do the floss. Okay, how, how's it go? Oh, you got me again. Oh. No, is that right? No, I'm... I'm used to doing this on the snow. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Now you're up to speed with all things Santa. Is that? But there's one more thing. Yeah, you're right. Say cheese. Cheese. Yep, that one's going straight to the pool room. This jolly hero in red is sticking around to meet all the kids at the hospital too. I'm Imogen and this is my little sister Milla and we just saw Santa. My favourite thing about Christmas is spending time with family. Check out these cool meerkats we got from Santa. My name's Savannah and this is my brothers Carter and Xavier. My favourite thing about Christmas is going out with family. What's yours Carter? Uh, the food. Merry Christmas. Hi, my name is Ava and I like to sing for people in retirement homes at Christmas. Astro del Tel, Har Godivin, Mitayanelori Dentor. Oh, yeah, did I mention that I can sing it in Italian? Mamma mia! My name's Emma. And my name's Abby. And we, we just, just met, met Santa. Santa. Our Christmas tradition is that we all get to sleep in the same room for about the whole month. I like helping out in the kitchen to make Christmas lunch. Hello, how are you Santa? Juice TV has interviewed Thor, Loki, Justin Timberlake and the one and only Santa Claus. It's so awesome when celebrity heroes take the time to visit us in hospital. Fingers crossed our next visitor is Messi. I'm Rylan and have a very merry after Christmas random holiday in January. I'm confused. Bye! <laughs> Well, they might not be walking around with Thor's hammer or spinning spiderwebs from their wrist, but there are definitely lots of superheroes wherever you look. Thanks for celebrating superheroes of all sorts with me today. I'm Lily. Thanks for watching. While you guys catch the next episode, I'm going to read my book. Hey guys, I'm Lily and I'm your host. <laughs> that was a great blooper. Today we're getting an inside scoop on one of the biggest heroes in the wor world. I'm so excited because I'm the Brisbane's heat. Oh <laughs> Thanks for ser <laughs> Thanks for celebrating. <laughs> Thanks for shit. <laughs> there you have it, guys. A little more life into the inside of blah blah. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited because I'm Brisbane's heat. <laughs> Silent night. Oh god, I sang it in English. <laughs> Remember guys, it's so easy to be a part of Juice TV. Whether you want to be a host, help us out behind the scenes with filming, or decide what goes into each episode. Let us know you want to be involved by sending an email to hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to one of the friendly volunteers throughout the hospital in the green shirts. Also, head to our website and Facebook page for all the updates about what we're filming at the hospital.